if you were compelled to believe in an outlandish metaphysical picture like the many worlds interpretation because you had to, because it was empirically unavoidable, like we look out into outer space and we see galaxies many, many, many billions of light years away. We see countless galaxies billions of light years away. That, that leads us to believe that there is a big universe out there. It, we see clocks on airplanes move at slightly different rates. Atomic clocks move at slightly different rates. That's hard to believe, but we can do the experiments and we see this repeated rigorously many times. It's not that we should never believe outlandish things, but as Carl Sagan said, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence. The many worlds interpretation says that there is an uncountable, uh, you know, an uncountable profusion of universes that are coming out of every single moment, not even just measurements, but just all the time. Uh, that's an outlandish statement. And sure, we could believe it if we were compelled to by either rigorous logical reasoning or by just unavoidable empirical results. But we're just not. And when you're formulating many worlds interpretation and you run into this problem of, well, I have the per basis problem. I guess I can deal with that by letting the branches be emerged into decoherence, but then I can't axiomatically assign them probabilities anymore. At that point, you should just give up because you're no longer compelled through rigorous logic or empirical data that you have to believe in many worlds. So why are you still trying to chase it down?